Good Sunday morning. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday morning. And it looks like uh, we might be having a special guest today. Mr. Brumster Dickens wants to help, so he wants to be in the video today. Well, now he's gotten out of view of camera, of course, so. Alrighty, well, I am coming with my July fragrance empties. I went through quite a few jar candles the month of July, and surprisingly, none of them were Bath and Body Works. I didn't burn any uh, Bath and Body Works during the month of July. I'm quite surprised about that. But um, I did burn more jars than I usually do. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, like I said, and I hope there's enough light. Um, the sun is kind of way back, and we've been having rain and storms every single day. So I don't know if the forecast calls for more rain today or not, but so I got my coffee. Sitting here drinking my coffee. I got a lot to <clears throat> do today before going back to work tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, when I go back to work, they're doing a system upgrade all night. So we are going to be in downtime all night long. And I work in a hospital, so what that means is everything's going to have to be done by hand. So, yeah. We're going back to, like, the 1970s, and everything will be done by hand. All night. <laughs> so... All right, y'all don't want to hear about that, so let me jump in and show y'all what I burned for the month of July. Okay, first one I did was Yankee Candle Pink Sands. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love it, but it sooted like crazy, and I had to keep cutting the wick. Luckily, I had this in the bathroom, and... It sooted up the mirror, so that was easy to clean. But yeah, that soot is ridiculous. Good grief. Okay, so this one is from Target. Cucumber water and mint. It is threshold. Absolutely love this one. This one smelled so good. It's just so fresh and clean. And I have had such good luck with the Target Threshold Candles. I really, really like them. And this one, if you want a nice, fresh, clean one, this one is definitely the one to do. Okay, so I did a, another Yankee Candle. This is Line Dry Cotton. This is another one of my favorites. It's just a nice, fresh, clean one. But this one soot it too. Yeah, Yankee needs to get that sitting. And the thing is, I have, oh, what's it called? The thing that you put on top of the candle that's supposed to help reduce the sooting. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. I have a couple of those, but to me it just seems like it decreases the scent. Like you can't really smell it. So I don't use them that often, but I need to remember to start using them. Okay, then I did a Tuscany Peach Prosecco. This one is from Kroger's, and I got it on sale. I think it was like on sale for three dollars because it was like an end of the season markdown. I love anything peach. This one smelled really good. God, I love the smell of peach. Two wick. Burned really good. Really nice. Hey guys, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. I was talking and my camera just turned off on its own. And I'm like, okay, what happened? So, I'm really sorry about that. My camera, I guess my camera's possessed now. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched American Horror Stories where they have the 
um, doorbell thing that goes to your phone and you can see who's coming and it was a portal to the other side and dead people were coming in through the oh, I don't know so yeah I don't want to have a phone that's possessed and does stuff like that <laughs> I'm just kidding I know that's not real okay where was I oh okay so this is from Kringle this is the essentials this is the one that everybody is raving about that says it is a dupe for um, Capri Blue Volcano so I guess I'm going to be the only one that says different. I mean, yes, it does remind me of Capri Blue Volcano. Um, I got a lot of citrus, though. But I'm going to be totally honest. This one was so light, I could barely smell it. Um, I thought it was gonna gonna be a lot stronger than it actually was, and it was incredibly light. I could barely smell it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it smelled good, and it did resemble Capri Blue Volcano, but I mean, I want something strong. I want, you know, I want to smell it. So yeah, I, I don't think I would reorder this one okay all right let's jump into the wax melts okay so I did one Yankee candle form fresh peach love it you know me I love anything that smells peachy all righty what did I do next okay sensationals Beach, please. Sunsets and luau's. And this one, no, oh, this one's hard to explain. This was a really, it was a nice smelling one. It reminds me of something, and I can't think of what it reminds me of. But I really, I enjoyed this one. This one was was very nice. Then, Better Homes and Gardens, Tropical Pina Colada, Pineapple Cream, Coconut, Sugared Vanilla Bean, and a Cherry Scent Notes. This one smelled like coconut. You know, that's just it. A Pina Colada is coconut, and I do love me a good Pina Colada. Okay, this one is from Target, Tropical Beach, with notes of beach grass and melon. This one was um, a very beachy grass one. Smelled very good, but it was just like a, a beach, a grassy green note. I'm sorry, Brimster's being so cute. I just gotta lean over and pet him. Okay, this one came from Walmart. Cucumber, melon, mint, and sangria. I loved this one. This one smelled so good. And I have several others in different fragrances like this. And I really hope they're not just limited to summer. Because they are the little individual melts. And this one, what was this one in the shape of? I think this one was in the, the shape of melons, I think. It just smelled so good. I mean, I did two and it's just... It was just amazing. Oh, and it smells so good. If your Walmart has these, definitely pick up some because I really, really hope they're not getting rid of these because I love them. Okay. And then the last melt that I did was Swan Creek. This is cold brewed coffee. Oh, this one was strong and it smelled just like espresso. Oh, it was strong. Oh, it smells just like espresso, just like coffee beans. Yeah. Uh, only do one cube of this because it will knock your socks off. Okay. So let's go ahead and do my wallflowers. Did a fresh coconut and cotton. 
This is coconut coastal breeze and beachside cotton. Uh, definitely smell the coconut. Definitely smell the cotton. Uh, I also have this in the body spray, and I also have a candle of it. And it, yeah, it's it's heavy um, on the coconut and cotton. You can definitely smell both of them. And then I did a blackberries and a basil. This is fresh blackberries, sparkling champagne, and basil. Then this one right here, blueberry pie. Oh my goodness, I love this scent. And I want to say I did the candle, I think. I really don't remember, but I thought I did the candle. And it did not smell nearly as good as this wallflower. When I tell you, the scent went on and on and on. It was kind of like um, that old commercial for Big Red Gum, the flavor just goes on and on and on it this was blueberry pie and it is a juicy blueberries flaky crush flora, flaky crust and sugar crystals this one was wonderful i absolutely loved it and of course blueberry is another one of my favorite scents okay so that is what i did for the month of july I hope y'all had a good July. I hope y'all did some good burning. Um, so, if y'all have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of the little candle family. And if you like this, please give a thumbs up. And let's look at Brimster one more time. He's just so pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, he's such a pretty cat. Yes, he is. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> oh, he is such a ham and such a baby. He is so cute. Okay. All right. Well, y'all have a good rest of the weekend, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.